So, as it turns out, there has not yet been a computer that can divide by zero. Chuck Norris alone holds that secret, and he's not telling anyone. In the meantime, I'll busy my computer with simple tasks like finding the last digit of pi and figuring out that if a set that includes all sets also includes itself. So, as it turns out, there has not yet been a computer that could do either of those things, mostly because the former is non-existent and the latter is a logical paradox. Also, I feel like if I go back to Best Buy with a similar complaint again, they'll probably kick me out. So I'm just going to stick with this computer for a while. Good afternoon, butt kickers. It's August 8, the 220th day of 2011, which means it's Father's Day in Taiwan. The reason for this is because Baba is Mandarin for father, as well as 8-8. And since today is the 8th day of the 8th month, it's Father's Day. Coincidentally, today is also Farmer's Day in Tanzania, because Nane Nane is Swahili for both farmer and, you guessed it, 8-8. I, of course, feel left out in all of this, but I can remedy that in no time. Let's see. Yes. I guess today will have to be known as Eating Already Digested Food Day, because 8-8 could conceivably mean, like, I ate that which was previously ate. I also don't think we should stop there. January 1 should be Single Victory Day, because you only won one. February 2nd should be also Deuce Day, because one must consider 2-2. Two, two. And June 6th should be Simultaneously Ill Sex Tuplets Day, because we should all take time to commemorate the 6-6. Six, six. I also heard that in Germany, September 9 is Repetitious Rejection Day. 9-9! Nine, nine. Okay, I'll stop. Anyway, 103 years ago today, Wilbur Wright flew at a race course in Le Mans, France, the first ever public flight for the legendary Wright brothers. For those of you who don't know, the Wright brothers are credited as being the builders of the world's first ever successful airplane and for making the first controlled, powered, and sustained heavier-than-air human flight. Previous attempts to get airborne consisted of hang gliders with 30-plus wings, bicycles with propellers attached and jutting at all sides, and men dressed in nothing but webbed vinyl suits and a cloak of prayers. Desire to take from the air presumably stemmed from the realization that while getting from A to B on the ground is a nice way to get someplace, it requires a lot of dodging. People wanted to go in a straight line from A to B, and a few people before the Wright brothers managed to do just that, with the one caveat being that A was the top of a cliff and B was the bottom of a cliff. And really, even today, if you want to go in a straight line from A to B, unless they're relatively close to each other, your line isn't going to be very straight. You'll have to stop at C, D, and E first, with lost luggage at D, a full frisking at E, and delays at all of the above. And when you finally arrive at B, you're tired and stiff and cranky despite the fact that you've really done nothing all day, and you just want to go to bed, except that here in beautiful B, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. So, thanks a lot, Wright Brothers. You know, if early 20th century America wasn't so thrilled by such unimpressive feats of technology, you might have kept working and invented teleportation. But no, the Wright brothers were satisfied with just one world transmogrifying invention for their lifetimes. And then Wilbur had to go and get typhoid and die early. And then Orville just spent the rest of his life making popcorn. Oh, wait, never mind. That was Orville Redenbacher. Yeah. What was I talking about? Because all I want right now is some popcorn. Well, I guess that's it. Have a happy eating already digested food day. Until tomorrow, he's Griff, and he's still talking. Previous attempts to get air porn, air porn, air porn, air porn, <laughs> air porn.